How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this unboxing and boot review video of the Puma All Nitro basketball shoes. Um, a very nice and comfortable pair of basketball shoes that Puma have brought out, which in relation is to the running shoes, especially the elite editions of the Puma Nitro running shoes. Um, it's a nice collaboration between the two in which Puma have brought the Nitro editions of the materials, especially on the foam on the bottom of the sole towards basketball. And that extra layer of foam um, really helps out in terms of the performance basis, in terms of like giving you good stability, traction when moving around the uh, courts of the basketball, uh, basketball courts. Also when a spring, like jumping, sprinting off the mark, quick change of directions when dribbling um, with, the, with the ball. It's really, really nice and you definitely notice the little small details that this uh, material, especially the quality of it, that comes into play. So for the price you're paying, which is around roughly 110 to 120 euros or pounds, maybe it's about 140, 150 dollars if you're watching this from the US or Canada, um, it's very worth its price. And for us, this is even a cheaper cheaper price than the likes if you're paying for the running shoes itself, the Nitro Pumas, which is going to be around roughly anywhere from 200 to 300 uh, euros or pounds. Um, so for the inclusion of the Nitros into a pair of basketball shoes, you're actually going to be getting a lot of uh, quality in terms of performance for the price you're paying for them. So we are very impressed with this when doing the unboxing and highly recommend this to anyone that plays pro, whether you're in Europe or in the, in the States. Um, also, if you're just playing with a passion for the game, these are definitely a high recommendation from us. It's not the most expensive tier in terms of basketball shoes, um, but for the quality and the price you're paying, it's definitely worth um, in, investing and buying a pair of these. Now, in terms of the sizing itself, our recommendations for you is to try these on for your feet type and then you can go and try on the various sizing, especially if you're buying from Puma the first time, um, go to their local store or buying online on their website or an app. Do have a look on the links below in this video, and then you can work on from the sizing from there, maybe order two pairs and then just return the one that doesn't fit you as well. So when it comes down to narrow to normal feet types, we just recommend going for usual Puma footwear sizing. If you're getting this for the first time for a Puma brand, then just go for your usual uh, sizing when it comes down to let's say Adidas Nike or just footwear sizing and then if you if you find it to be a bit too spacious after doing up the laces then just go a half size down for narrow to normal feet types but the general case from what we've tried on true to size your usual size fits really well for these very comfortable um, and yeah no problems whatsoever out of the box use no blisters and um, no injuries no cuts towards the shoes of course it does take a bit of time maybe one week just to get used to the uh, the material and the model and the shaping of the shoes but after that week's gone it's really nice and comfortable to wear now for wide feet we'd recommend true to size to a half size up most likely half size up will be better because it gives you a bit more space in the midfoot and toe box area um, and true to size may be a bit too tight and snug so do alter it and try it from there and then for uh, very wide feet we recommend a half size up usually half size up is fine for us we don't need to change it at all however there may be some circumstances where you could try one full size up from your usual footwear sizing and then you can just compare the two and find the right one for you but in general case for very wide feet going a half size up should be fine um, like we said this is the first time we've tried out these uh, nitro basketball shoes very impressed with them and highly recommend it from our end if you have a pair of these yourself um, you play a lot of basketball Make sure to leave a comment down below in this video in terms of your feedback, what to look out for, what are the pros and cons, as your feedback and your comments really help out viewers watching this now or in future reference make a decision to see if these are for them or whether they should go for a different pair of basketball shoes. But thanks again for watching this unboxing and review. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a like and to subscribe and we'll see you next time for another unboxing and review in the near future. Wishing you all the very best and take care.